What's up, fellow YouTubers? Well, now we're having a political discussion of whether or not you should say the R word. I'm simply going to say one thing. We've been told that the R word is offensive and you shouldn't say it. Instead of using it as a word for hate, why not use it as a word for inspiration? There are a lot of people out there who are autistic, and some of them don't have it the greatest. Some of them are quite successful. I'm not the only one. You know, so if you're special needs and you're doing good considering what you're going through with your disorder and you're overcoming your disorder each and every day then honestly screw the losers calling you a retard be proud of that shit embrace it be like yes thank you for noticing my differences or being told spread the word to stop a word or some shit like that Another thing I saw on Facebook, though, honestly, is the um, the pandemic has caused a lot of people to become homeschooled. So because people are being homeschooled, mass shootings have dropped significantly. In schools, at least, which is eh, the start. My point being is these anti-bullying campaigns aren't working. You know, so instead of teaching people to use their words, because they know, they're smart enough to know YouTube that words can hurt. You gotta teach them to understand each other. How would it feel to be in that person's shoes? Can you begin to imagine what it would be like to go through something like that kind of thing? And here's the sad truth of it. If you have 375 million plus gun owners in the country, but six of them decide to be dumbasses, then it makes the rest of us look bad. And it's no different than what religion goes through to some extent. Assholes ruin it for everyone. And if society is being conditioned to, to think that the word retard is offensive and you shouldn't say it, well, one, there are more offensive words than the word retard. Two, you condition people to be proud of their disorder rather than to be ashamed of it because that's what it is. Someone who has special needs gets offended because you call them a retard versus they say, thank you for noticing my differences. Have a nice day. They don't know how to take it. You know, the, the person... That, you're fucking with does not have a ticket because they, they tried fucking with you and you're fucking with them back you're just like what that's the next level trolling that is like when people say nice glasses four eyes you could say well four eyes are better than two you know shit like that And that's the thing of it. Like, if you're getting bullied on social media and you don't like it, then take a break from social media. Just turn the computer off, turn your phone off, whatever. Go for a walk if you can. If you can't go for a walk, then read a book, draw, improve on your cooking skills. And for some people, it can be difficult to not let the hatred and the drama of the world get to them because our world's just full of it. All you can do is be a better person. You can't better other people. 
That's the sad truth of it. And as somebody who's been called a retard virtually almost their entire life, I've been called a retard growing up in school. I got called a retard doing YouTube videos. You know, how many times, if I had $100 for every time I got called an autistic retard on YouTube alone, I would be filthy stinking rich. And obviously it hasn't affected me. People are like, you should shave your head and dress normal. And I'm like, your definition of normal does not exist. Because each person's definition of normal is different. Because each person's definition of normal is different, normality does not exist. Being an adult is not based off of the clothes you wear or the, how you carry your hair. It's about the decisions you make. I decided that I got tired of working for someone else just so my trolls could harass them on top of me. It's kind of unfair to them. So I'm like, if I can make my own business that's professional and if the trolls harass me, I'll just deal with it directly instead of them having to waste someone else's time. And that's why I started my business. And people are loving the wands, so I'm definitely not stopping that anytime soon. I mean, come on, that last batch of wands was nice. That last batch of wands was nice. Glitching out there, don't you start your shit again, quick time, come on. That's a good quick time. Also, if you want to see how I made that dank ass burger on my live stream with Darflini, I'm going to remake that burger for a cooking recipe tomorrow. I could drink the other two, but I want to have two for when I wake up. So, yeah. That's called drinking responsibly. <laughs> yeah. Or conserving it at least. And honestly, the reason why my trolls talk so much shit is because they're miserable. They see someone who's got Asperger's, who's got their own issues, and when they see that I got issues, it reminds them that they have issues, and then they see that I'm more successful than they are, and it, it just it drives them batshit, man. Currently I had a pipe tobacco, but um, I'm going to collect another batch of sticks and turn them into, <clears throat> into wands. I want pipe tobacco, I'm going to work for it, plain and simple. And right now, making the wands is doing me some wonders, man. People are loving their wands. Getting lots of awesome reviews on my Etsy, so I'm liking that. So far, people haven't really fucked with me when I'm collecting sticks for my Etsy. They just kind of, they know what's up already. They're like, oh, hey, he's, you know. As long as I'm not getting them from private property without permission, it's technically not illegal. And honestly, that documentary I made put Casper on the map, I feel like, you know. People are going to be watching that going, hey, you know what? I check out Casper. That place looks pretty cool. Look like they got a lot of bars and shit.
they'd be sitting there going, hey man, I watched Cobra's documentary, I'm like, bro, I gotta check out Casper, and I gotta say this place is pretty chill for the most part. Well, if you hang out with the right crowd and you stay out of trouble, Casper's alright. But if you're one of those assholes that likes to cause small town drama, you just, you know, eh. And honestly, I'm not even tripping out about it. If I want pipe tobacco, I'll build another batch of wands, and after I get what I need to ship them and do it properly, the money I have left over it will go back towards supplies, and after supplies and shipping them, then I can get some more. And I don't mind working for it, because I'd rather work for it than ask for it, you know? That's always been my mentality, YouTube. I'd rather work for it than ask for it. And people seem to think I'm a beggar. I'm like, fuck off, dude. You don't even know me. <coughs> <coughs> I was just hanging out with homeboy Scotty earlier. He's doing good. Yep. I gave I gave Scotty a bar of tactical soap to help him with the ladies. Not that he needs it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gave Scotty a bar of Maverick tactical soap. So the next time he goes to talk to any of his lady friends, he can put it on, shower with it, whatever you know, and then walk out of there smelling fresh. He goes to talk to his lady friend. It's Gucci. And people are talking shit on my tattoos, like, you know, and I'm like, dude, these tattoos turned out sick. That Cradle of Filth band logo is where it's at. And the Aussie Knuckles might have faded just a little bit, but they still look kick-ass. There's like a touch of green in some of the letters. And honestly, I'm happy with them, so I think they kick ass. And the, all the haters talking shit can eat a bag of Asperger's. No, I'm not even going to go into detail, but the level of immature bullshit my trolls do to fuck with me, it's redundant and ridiculous. After seeing that last batch of wands completed, it was like, oh, the batches just keep getting better and better. And I got the supplies to make a couple more copper handle wands. So if you didn't get one last time, you'll get one this time, maybe. I don't have a quartz crystal to make a fancier one, but I might put one in the batch after this one. <clears throat> but I have literally established myself as a professional wand maker. So let the haters talk shit.
<sighs> the nice thing about living in a mountain town is Wandwood is always around. Get people on social media who are like, you shouldn't say the word retarded or retard, it's offensive. And I'm over here like, well, stop using it as a word of hate. Start using it as a word of... Word of, um... Positivity. Well, not necessarily positivity, but, like, be proud of it, you know? Don't take it as an insult, at least. Hey, you know what? I just might make the cooking video right quick. Get a little weekend video action going for YouTube. Oh, I got no juice in my phone. I think we can make this happen. Put this bastard on an airplane mode so that way I don't get fudged with when I'm making the call or making the video, making the call on my YouTube channel at least. Hmm. <clears throat> Thanks for watching my political rant. I'll catch you cool cobras 